Welcome back to another episode of Your Food Take, your favorite food podcast. And if it's not, get on it. I'm back, your host. Uh, my name is officially John now. <laughs> I was playing. It's DiMario. Um, I have my co-host here, as always, Stasia. How are we doing today? I'm good. How are you? Um, great. It's 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 about that time. It's that season. Spooky season. Yeah. Ooh. One of my one of my favorite holidays. At top two, maybe not two. Mm. So obviously you can see we dressed up here. Slytherin gang. I just got initiated in. So we got a. Uh, you wanna explain to the people who you are? The Lola Bunny. I mean it's pretty obvious, but unfortunately, you know, just in case. you know, I was gonna be the old school one, but they didn't have my size when I ordered it. So I had to be the new school one. Mm. So. Okay. I mean, yeah, the, the old school is better. Exactly. So, but it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Understandable. Yeah. All right. Today we're gonna we're going a little ethnic. We're eating a little Spanish food, Espanol. Dominican. Yeah. Specifically. Um what was the name of the spot? La Casa de Sabores. I believe that's Ooh. how you say it. Okay. I mean, that sounds good to me. Yeah. All right. All right. Food is Listen, excellent. I've never eaten here, so but of course not. Of course, I'm willing to try new things. I've had Spanish food before. It's been a while, though. So yes. I'm like, yeah, let's, we got to switch it up. We got to switch it up a little bit, a little mm-hmm. bit. So I'm starving. Um, let's get to it. All right. Okay. All right. So obviously with the theme being, basically, it's Halloween, right? Mm-hmm. Next couple of weeks, a lot of, a lot of Halloween events going to be going down. So... First, first topic I want to get into while we kind of chime down on here is past Halloween stories. Going out, whether it's to the club, to the bar, maybe a friend's house. Would you like to share with the class? Sure, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get a bite first, and and then I can, you know, go into <laughs> it. So, all right, rice and beans. No one makes better Spanish or better rice and beans than anything, anything Spanish, Hispanic, whether it's Puerto Rican, Dominican, it's top tier, top tier. All right. Now I would say though, hmm. their rice and beans is good, but like, I don't think nobody's going to be topping Monty's rice. Ooh, rice is Monty. So, you've never had Monty's, dude. Not a box. That's All a right. Restaurant? If we got any local followers, <clears throat> y'all know about Monty's. Everybody know about Swan Street Monty's, and they pastelitos and they Spanish rice. I just had some Obviously yesterday. Not. Oh my god! Obviously not. So. You got to get you outside, man. Food tour. I do be outside. Don't not eating not? enough food. We getting on that. Talking about food. Coming up. We're not. Right, it's about to be cold out. Food. Okay. We're getting there eventually. Okay. I'm a, we, we can check it out. Monty's. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I just want to say, growing up, <clears throat> we did not celebrate Halloween at all. Right? Grew That's up crazy. in a church. Frowned upon. So, I mean, they would have like hallelujah parties. But you only wear like certain costumes, so <clears throat> that was about the extent. So I missed out, honestly. I, a lot, of, a lot of my childhood, yes. I've yes, never been trick or treating, at least that I can remember. Aww. Um. So, with that being said, once I became an adult and I could do what I want to do, I started celebrating. With that being said, I've I've had tons of years of going to Halloween parties. <clears throat> um. What was your favorite? That's a, that's the issue right there. Is like <clears throat> favorite. A lot of good memories. Mm-hmm. A lot of good memories. A lot of good costumes. I usually switch it up every year. So, um, what does that look? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Um, I feel like the biggest thing for me is the bar cross. So if you're not from Buffalo, well, I feel like they probably do this in almost every city, but basically every year they have a bar crawl. Um, I've been doing it for a while. Mm-hmm. They took like a hiatus at some point, um, a couple of years where they weren't doing any at all. Uh, and then they started running them back again. So 
Um, basically, what a buyer call is, is a bunch of different buyers basically partners together, right? You pay one admission fee and you can basically go into all the buyers. They have you usually drink specials. But the idea is that you kind of like get to be in multiple spots at one time instead of having to pay a bunch of money for different cover charges. So, I mean, it's a good way to, again, get lit, walk around a little bit, meet That's some new good. people. Because I feel like, right, when you're going out typically, if you go into the same spot all the time, you're going to be seeing the same people. True. So and with the bar crawl, it's usually so many people that be out at one time. And then like you kind of just go on place to place. You're checking out new spots. Like a lot of times with the bar crawls, I'll be in bars I've never been. So like the Cowboy downtown. That's no I've reason still never been in there. there. I mean, I've been in there a couple of times now, but it's like rarely. I mean, it, yeah. basically it has to be a bar crawl for me to be in there. So. Yeah. All right. Specifically, I want to say... My favorite Halloween party was actually at a friend's house. So <clears throat> those are always the best. Let's, let's, let's bring this. Let's bring this back a little bit. <coughs> um, this is probably Buff State time. I think um, I had a friend who basically she was up here. Like she normally lives in New York City, mm-hmm. um, but she was here for school, so she didn't really have no like. I mean, she had a couple of friends I think she would hang out with. So we had some like mutual friends. But around this time, usually I'm trying to figure out like what people are doing. So I'm like, hey, what you up to? She ain't had no plans. So I'm like, yo, you trying to go to my friend's party who happened to be um, Puerto Rican, which she was also the same. So I'm like, okay, this, this, could, this could mix well. So um, I'm like, yo, let's go let's hop to this party. So my friend usually throws a party almost every year, Halloween party. Um, so I'm like, yo, let's, let's, let's go to the party. So we went to the party. Um, this was somebody that, uh, you know, while I was at Buff State, like I was tunnel vision. So I'm like, I I can't be, let me not get distracted from nobody. Right. I mean, stay, stay focused, you know, get my work done. But I graduated at this point. So I'm like, all right, I'm good to go then. Well, this is somebody, you know, obviously I had, I had a little attraction too. So <clears throat> You know, music playing, you know, drinking, drinking. Um, and I feel like usually like when you go to events with somebody, like you're less likely to kind of like mingle around, I guess you could say. Especially, well, on my end, I knew That's a lot true. of people there. So mm-hmm. I can kind of just chat with people, but she didn't. So it's like, I would see she can kind of be like hanging on to me like for the whole night, which, you know, I didn't mind at all. So, um, with that being said, <clears throat> um, you know, we 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 might have started dancing a little bit. You know, things might have you know escalated from there. Um, the liquor could have could have could have been a um an instigator there. I, I would maybe so. So, I mean, I've and again like I've been out with her before. Okay, this is kind of crazy. So, when I first met her. Now, when we first graduated, we all had, like, went out. <clears throat> and, again, you know, a bunch of us had went to a bar, stuff like that. So we were just kind of, like, chilling. Like, I was at, like, one of them touch tune devices where you can kind of DJ, play music and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So she happened to come over, and we were, like, just chit-chatting and stuff. And I'm, like, she kind of kept, like, inching closer and closer. And, again, I didn't really know, like, what her vibe was at first. So, and then we started, you know, just... Talking a little spicy, a little, a little spicy. Oh. So, which I wasn't, again, I was tunnel vision, so I wasn't really expecting that from her. So, I'm like, oh, she, she, might, she might be a little interested. Um, but that night had, like, got cut short, <clears throat> unfortunately. So, but then fast forward, I'm like, oh, another opportunity. Right. I was about to um, say, because what made this one of your favorites? It's one of those things, it's like, you see somebody and you don't know what could happen. And right. then when it does happen, you're like, oh, okay. All right. That was, that was a good night. I wasn't expecting that. So, yeah, no, not at all. Not not at all. Because it's like, there was a missed opportunity and then... It circled back, so it wasn't missed. Yeah, but like, it had circled back like months later. It might have been a, a year, honestly. Oh. I'm thinking about it. Well, it sparked something. Mm-hmm. No, it was months. Yeah, so I'm like, <clears throat> I was, I was, I was a little taken off, t- 
taken aback, you know. I'm like, oh, is this is this, is this happening right now? So that's just one of those things where it's like the night was just a good night, good mm-hmm. music. You know me, I love to dance. So um my boy do be dancing. Yeah, yeah. If I could actually like dance dance, that would be great. <laughs> but I would say that's probably number one in my head. Um, besides like doing like the bar crawls. Anytime I do a bar crawl, like I'm lit. It's something about day drinking. Well, I usually I'm usually drinking the whole one. Actually, I I usually go to the bar crawl and then come out later that night as well. So I'm usually, oh. yeah, yeah, I'm usually lit the whole time. Mm-hmm. So, Mm-mm. all right. Well, what you got for me? I mean, we've grown up a little differently. Um, so I've done trick or treating. I've done going to Fright World. You know, haunted catacombs kind of thing for a spooky season. I've done pretty much all, like more so. Actually, this is going to be my first Halloween crawl this year. Oh. It's going to be my first. Yeah. Um, my new friend, she likes to do the crawls and stuff like that. We did one for um, okay. St. Patrick's Day. So this will be my first crawl. So I've done it, haven't done a crawl, but I've done the Halloween parties. Um, I guess the most significant Halloween story, I guess I can say, is back in the pandemic. Nobody really listened to the rules because why are we still having a Halloween party in the pandemic? Um, so obviously it's 2020. This is fresh pandemic. Mm, okay. I didn't even have a costume. Um, Slacking. It's the pandemic. Nope. Why would I have a costume to go anywhere in the pandemic for Halloween? You could order something. One thing about that. Would have got delivered. Anywho, so I'm out. No costume. Um, my one friend hits me up like, "Hey, like, are you doing anything for Halloween?" I'm like, "No." Kind of was supposed to, but. Just never got around to like getting a costume. People were playing. That's what it was actually. I was supposed to go to a Halloween party, but they were playing with like the invite and like who was, but like it's cool. So never got a costume initially. So I ended up going out with like my childhood best friend and a good friend that I have to this Halloween party. His costume was hilarious. He had like on his camel shirt and trench coat, hat, glasses, and he had a pepperoni in his pants. As a, because he was a flasher, it was hilarious. Oh, that is okay. <laughs> it was so funny because I post the story, let me memories all the time. Because like he was like, you have to tell people that is not really like my genitals, and I'm like, well, obviously, I mean, it doesn't match your skin tone at all. Oh, but say like, what color is he? He's dark skin, so. But at that party, we had so much fun. Um, we were drinking. And his costume was like just the highlight of my night. So like, that's like one of my favorite Halloween stories. Um, there's also one when we were younger. I just want to say that's a risky, risky costume. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You have to to know who he is to know that that fits his personality. Mm. You would. That's something that you would kind of expect from him. Something extreme is what you always expect from someone like him. But um. Younger trick or treating. I'm so sad that you missed out on that. Yeah. So yeah. sad that you had missed out on that. Maybe when you have children, you can experience, you know, Halloween. Yeah, you know, trick or treating. If, if I have children, you'll you'll probably have one at least. We'll see. We'll hope. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. My sister was actually taking a trick or treating, so I'm about what sister? Uh, my older, older sister. Yeah, she was about 16, so that makes me about 14 going on. No, 14. Yep, makes me 14. We're two years apart. Um, she has my mom's car. She, you know, we're driving. We're just, we are getting the car. We we're, Now we're going up to like the corner store. I don't know what we were going there for. What um, area of Buffalo is this? East side. I lived on the east side pretty much my life, all my life. Um, I love the east side. East side is where it's at. It's culture. It's cultured on the east side of Buffalo. Um, so we're going to the store. All our windows are down, stuff like that. We're chit chatting and stuff. This guy with like a monkey mask comes up to the car and just like scares the stuff out of us. We're all screaming. My sister drives off. We never even go to the store. Oh my gosh. Like it was just so funny because like, why would you think to just go to somebody who was scared them? But again, it is spooky season. It was yep. funny. It's funny. Um, so yeah. Your sister was just driving around at 16? Yeah, she had a license. 
taking us trick or treating. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, we park the car and get out and, you know, walk up the street and all that stuff. Like, I like to see, like, the little... There was a one time also that there was, like, someone had, like, set up their own haunted house at their house. Oh. Like, it was outside. Like, you could just walk through where you, like, see, like, all the little... I thought that was, like, super cool. Like I love seeing... No, the driveway. I, I love seeing people who, are like, are very festive and, like, love, like, you know, the holidays... I love riding around and seeing like people's houses decorated for like Halloween. Like see like the tombstone stuff outside the skeletons, all that type of stuff. And like that was like pretty cool to like have your own haunted house for like the kids to see. Yeah, I mean, definitely going all out. I'm just big on costumes and going out. I just lit. can't believe you never experienced trick or treating. Yeah, I feel like all kids should experience it at least once. I mean, for religious reasons, I wouldn't obviously, you know. That's unfortunate, but like, just to go out there, trick or treat, and it's always people like. Sometimes there are people like that'll sit outside their house and look like you know stuff like I don't know stuffed characters, and like you go to reach for the bowl of candy in their hand, they jump out and scare you. Oh, as a kid, yeah. Oh man, somebody gonna be traumatized. Mm-hmm. Maybe <laughs> I took. We took my uh, my niece once. How many times have you been trick or treating? A bunch of times. Uh, well, I want to say from what I can remember, I would say up until uh, probably about senior year in high school. I definitely went junior year. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, I want to say, what's that like? I'm going to go from, I want to say like seven times. That's once a year. I want to say from like 10 to 17. Seven. I'll go like that. Interesting. Pretty much went. Yeah. Oh, you think there's an um, an age limit on trick-or-treating? I feel like once you're out of high school, it should be over. Or maybe your senior year, like me, because, like, you're still kids. Like, but the kids these days is grown looking. I don't know. <laughs> Might be after sophomore year for them. <laughs> they grown. Okay. We were kids. We kept our innocence. I don't know. These kids are grown these days. So I mean, I don't know about innocence being kept in high school. I'm just, you know. Well, if my innocence was kept in high school, <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm just saying in general, just high school. Uh, well, not oh, well, and it's just like so kids be a kid, you know, like the saying we used to hear when we were kids growing up, like stay in a kid's place. You never heard that saying? Yeah, stay in a kid's place. So, like, you know, you were kids, so you're doing kid things. The mind's still developing, you know, you're doing whatever you feel like at that age you should be doing, or, you know, just trying to find out. But to be told to stay in a kid's place was, I feel like, essential to our generation as millennials because now look at us. I feel like growing up, and doing the kid things that I did was acceptable. I'm, I wasn't not knocking people so you who seen were other, like high schoolers out there. Huh? You seen other high schoolers out there? What about them? Outside trick or treating. I, I, I would. Listen, I, I have mean, no I knowledge would. of what age people start trick or treating. What, what the age they stop? I didn't it's, experience. I feel none like of that. it starts once they get to like kindergarten to get that experience. Like they're what in kindergarten, like four or five. So, but those aren't ones most remember because I don't. I might remember up until like maybe second grade and up. Second, third grade and up. My niece is in fourth. She's about 10. So around that age and up where you can actually remember going out and like having the costumes and trick-or-treating. But I feel like once you're a senior, I think officially once you're a senior, people that are second thinking ain't grown and. Stuff like that, they won't do anymore, but they'll go to the Halloween parties. So that's where that kicks in. Like, trick or treating might stop around 16, 17, and then like 18 and up might be parties. So. Okay. Hmm, interesting. I didn't think about that at all. <laughs> like, even when I was in high school, like, you know how, like, typically, like, if someone's trick or treating, like, if you're giving out candy, you're supposed mm-hmm. to leave, like, your porch light on, mm-hmm. whatever. We never did that. <clears throat> Oh, we, you we, guys. we didn't participate in either side. We didn't give out candy. We didn't go trick or treating. Mm-hmm. So, and yeah, once I like to me, it's Halloween just became a, a, a basically an excuse, another excuse to just you know go party, you know, dress up and go party. So, all right, what would you say is better, a scary Halloween costume or like? A slutty Halloween costume because I feel like that's 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 usually True. what it is nowadays. Well, I guess I mean it's like comic books and anime, like it could vary also, but 
I feel like with women though, it's usually either one of those two. So it's usually like scary where they kind of like do up the makeup and stuff like that. Or, you know, they try to come out looking sexy. I'm going to have to go sexy because that's really much what they turn adult Halloween into. So, I mean, some people take it too far. Like I just seen a video the other day when someone was dressed up as Chucky. But Chucky had, the girl had the crop shirt on and the overalls, but she had nipple covers on her boobs and her boobs was out. And I'm like, oh, Chucky was never sexy. Why would you turn him into that? Okay. Some things are just left to be as what they are because why are you? Why couldn't she just be Tiffany, Chucky's wife? Be to me, I don't know. Why, why does Chucky have to be sexy? Exactly, <laughs> that's <laughs> that what I'm saying. Sense to me. It's like so. I don't know. You have to pick if you're going to be something like that. It's specifically Chucky that should be looking like Chucky. Now Tiffany, you could spice up because she was a bride. It's called Bride of Chucky. If you want to wear, I don't know. So lingerie, white lingerie, and like the, the, what is it called? The veil and all that stuff and all that stuff and look sexy in it. Cool. Because that's kind of what that's portrayed to be. But like, if you're going to do like guy costumes kind of in a sense, I don't know. So you think they like sexing up the wrong costumes? Yeah. Chucky should have never been like that. Like, right? Let's say take something like, I don't know, a transformer, but they make it sexy. Absolutely not. I'm going to look at you like you foolish. <laughs> you are foolish. Go home. Oh, man. I mean, it won't surprise me. So, <clears throat> I mean, I feel like you name it. Some Somebody can find a way to make it sexy, slutty, nah, whatever man. you want to say. Leave, leave certain <clears throat> things I think should just be left as is, in my opinion. Um, like like a Transformer, Chucky. I don't know. What else? Any, like, guy. I mean, I, I mean, obviously, I, I appreciate looking at, you know, the... Sexy slutty costumes. So, but if you ask me what I prefer, I like the people that get super creative. Definitely. And like they really like put their costumes together, especially yeah. if it's like something that they, you know, DIY made themselves. So I remember one year, um, it was a group of guys that made like a bobsled. So have you, do you know what? So basically they had like cardboard boxes or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, they made a bobsled and like all four of them was like walking together. They were race cars? Not, not, it's a bobsled is basically. Oh, bobsled, you said. Yeah. Mm, okay. So it's usually four people in the bobsled, um, obviously going on the ice track, whatever. Yeah. So like they were all dressed in, again, fire crawl. So, which a great, great, great way to see different costumes and stuff like that. Um but yeah, some people get like super creative with it. So I like that too. So <laughs> I'll be always in the middle with things because actually, you know, I think I prefer creative costumes too because it's either you got it or you don't to be sexy sometimes. So, like, yeah, yeah. The creativity out there gets way more points because you're like, yo, that's dope as hell kind of things. Like, you know, you actually put effort into doing that. It's raw. I agree. That's why, like, <clears throat> just besides from, like, Halloween, like, again, just the aspect of dressing up, like, eventually I would like to go to some, like, Comic-Con type events. Yeah, I think uh, that's what just that environment is Halloween just, should get back to is just being more creative. Yeah. Not trying to look slutty. Whoa, whoa, or whoa, sexy. whoa. I mean, maybe just, just balance, you know. We, again, we appreciate... <clears throat> We appreciate all the costumes, some more than others. We do. We definitely do. We do appreciate <laughs> the costumes, but like. Is there a slutty guy costume? Uh, maybe I would say cowboy. You wear the cowboy hat, open shirt, belt. That'd be sexy for a guy. Have you seen anything else? No. I mean, I don't. It depends on. Actually, really, no shade to the men. It depends on your physique. Because if you if you got the body as a man with that physique, the abs or whatever, the the back looking real nice, I think you'll be able to see that with whatever they're wearing. Because you know guys tend to put on a little tight shirts so they can flex their muscles and stuff like that. So I had a friend dress up as the Old Spice Man. 
Do you remember those commercials? Where he basically just had the towel on? Yeah. <clears throat> did he have the body? To an extent. He did play football. Okay. So, but <clears throat> I mean, he was also like a personal trainer, but he's like okay, 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 bigger, okay. like lineman type, but still like fit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's kind of like thick fit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. Perfect. So. <clears throat> gotta have some meat on your bones. I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I've seen. Yeah. I feel like it's got to be something like with your shirt off. So. Or you got to have that physique. Your muscles got to be popping <clears throat> through the shirt for it to be sexy on a man. And it's more so for women too. Not necessarily muscles, but like got to be well proportioned as a woman. No, that's a big thing to me. Just so, in general. Like you gotta, you, yeah. yeah. Portions off. I'm just like <laughs> good over here. Like that's that's a ick turn off, whatever you want to call oh it. Oh my real, real. god. No, like legitimately. You gonna look <laughs> That's crazy. <clears throat> but yeah, so I mean I and that's necessarily say like you have to look like Anime characters, you know, like the women have like the big breast and like the super snatched waist kind of thing. You don't have to look like that. We don't. I mean, you sh- could. I'm not body shaming. I don't body shame over here. Um, but like, I mean, evidently you could, but like, you know, if you you got little boobs, you got bigger hips, you know, whatever. Like, if it works for you, it works for you. You know, because it's important to know, like, your shape as a woman to be able to complement whatever you're wearing, so. So it should be more strategic with the costume that you decided to put on. Yeah, you. I wouldn't want to see no shade to the, the women who are portrayed with the bigger breasts and, like, have the smaller, <laughs> like, hips and stuff like that. Some costumes aren't meant for everybody, but I ain't knocking nobody. If you could pull it off, you could pull it off. That's all. That's all. I just want to say this food is pretty good. Did you order from here again? I would. Mm-hmm. Not when that's happening. Who knows? I mean. <clears throat> all right. So a couple of things that we got. Um, it was a, I didn't know this was a sandwich, but it's supposed to be like. A I didn't know either. Chimichurri chicken sandwich. So. You got, I don't know what I was actually expecting from the chimichurri. I was thinking like the green sauce. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, but I don't know if I was expecting it to be like over rice. Like, I don't know how I was expecting it to come. Oh, though. yeah. I, I, don't know I don't know. But sandwich is really good. This is a good local spot. <laughs> yep. Beef and chicken pasolitos. Then you got some type of chicken. Pollo gustado, which is like chicken stew, rice yeah. and beans. Yeah. So <clears throat> I would say... um. Overall, I'm giving it like seven and a half. I'm definitely giving this whole plate of eight because it oh. got eight, literally. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so pretty good stuff. All right, absolutely. Put this aside, drink some water. All right, of course, have to get desserts. That's mandatory for myself. If the place has desserts, I'm getting dessert. I'm not. So, <clears throat> I'm a foodie. Give me the food. All right. So, we have Trace Leches. And then, mm-hmm. oh, this doesn't really look like Trace. Well, maybe it's not a cake. Maybe it's like a, like a pudding, maybe. The texture looks like pudding. And then, flan. Like there was some like cake on top. Or you can see like little cake pieces. But all cultures are different. <clears throat> So this is a Dominican spot. They might make their trace leches different. True. There's another spoon over there? Mm-mm. Oh, I thought I brought two. Oh, you use it for the beans. That's why. Okay. Flan. I'm not the biggest fan of flan, but maybe my mind will be changed. How is it? Still still not the biggest fan of flan. I'm crying. You want to try some? Yeah, I'll try some. Mm. 
All right, Trey Slate, Jace. Hmm. Okay, I've tried this maybe twice. I didn't like the texture, but again, maybe my mind will be changed. This is my first time having flan. It's okay. Okay. <clears throat> No offense to my friend who made Trace Ages before, but this is a lot better. So hopefully, friend, you don't watch this. You probably don't watch this. It's okay. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's different between like a regular person than like someone that actually has a food business. So, but this is a lot better. I mean, is she Spanish? Yeah, I don't know how like tapped in she is though. Oh. Uh, so, and again, hopefully she don't know, watch everybody this. Everybody gets traditionally... Everyone almost gets like their recipes from their grandmother. So like, yeah. Is there cake in there? Cake pieces. Yep, I knew it. Just soaked in, but it's a thicker um, like the milk because there's yeah. three milks in here. Yeah, that effect I know, but again, the last time I tried it, it was like the milk was like more runny, like it didn't like really soak in. So that's why I really like mm. <clears throat> this one. I feel like it's a little bit a bit of a thicker like. Custard or sauce or whatever they I put in there. I'm using a lot more of like the evaporated milk. Yeah, or like the condensed. Yeah. So that's what I'm mean. yeah, that Which works. that's that's actually good. I'm rating that like eight. So it's pretty good. Are you gonna tie the cherry or not? No. <laughs> I don't look like <laughs> Whew. all Whew. right. <clears throat> I conclude the food portion. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Again, it's Halloween time. <clears throat> oh man! I want to discuss. That was funny. Just, just, just events, stories around Halloween, and specifically Halloween movies. Now, <clears throat> I'm not a fan of Halloween movies. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. They, some of them scare me. Um, I typically stay away from them. There's a couple few that I watch that I don't find scary. <clears throat> um, and sometimes those movies are just like I kind of find to be like stupid. It's like, oh, they hear a noise. Oh, let's go check it out. Why? So, <clears throat> but first thing I want to discuss is. A Halloween movie that frightened you. So, story time. <clears throat> Back in my younger days, um, again, I've, I don't really watch Halloween movies, but a friend invited me to the movies. She was like, hey, you want to go see uh, Paramo- Paranormal Activity 2? Uh, this, is, this, is, this is important. It was the second one. Now again, dang! I don't remember the first, second one. I remember the first one so. Yeah, I don't. I don't watch scary movies, especially those type of scary movies. So, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Um, <clears throat> I didn't see the first one. I'm like, sure, we can. You know, this is somebody I used to hang out with all the time, play spades. So, good friend of mine's. Um, but yeah, she was like, yeah, let's go, let's go check out this movie. I'm like, all right. So it's just me and her. <clears throat> she decides she wants to sit like basically front row. All right. I, first of all, I've never seen Furrow in the movie theater. That's wild. So yeah, you can't like you're but, looking up at the screen. It kind of like doesn't. Yeah, I yeah. wouldn't sit there either. Yeah, if you sit front row in the movie theater, you you might be a serial killer. Just throwing it out there. So, but that being said, get in the movie theater. Right. Obviously, it's dark. <clears throat> movie starts playing. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, interesting. Um, the movie progresses. And things start moving. And I don't know what's moving these things. And those type of things scare me. Are you laughing? Mm-hmm. This is trauma. I'm sorry. No, sir, this traumatized me. This is not funny. I'm sorry. So it was a couple of jump scares. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
And just like that is how I was moving in the movie theater. Oh my goodness. So oh, shit. eventually, and I'm not ashamed to say this. Um I was basically uh <laughs> I was uh I was basically curled up in a in a in a ball. Just like just like like well my hands were over my eyes and I'm like this, like literally like almost kind of like fetal position type. I'm just like, she's literally doing the exact same thing. Like, again, I've never in my life sat in a movie theater seat like this. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, very, very scary movie. Again, I don't like movies. Like, I can do scary movies if I can see, well, for the most part, if I can see what the scary item is, what the scary thing is. Any type of like paranormal where it's like, for some reason, the cabinet starts <laughs> opening and dishes start flying out and, yeah, I don't like that. Where it's like almost like suspenseful. It's like it's real quiet. They're just walking through, and then like something crazy just like fly at you. Okay, but um, <clears throat> yeah. So eventually, right? Movie ends. Yeah, good good movie. I I might have. I'm, I'm be honest. I might have shed a tear. I don't remember or not, but it's very possible. So movie ends. Um, you know, we say our goodbyes, and I'm like, yeah, I can't go home. <laughs> it's 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 just it's just not possible. This movie's in my head now, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm scared. So I happened to go to um <clears throat> to Taps where I happened to work at at the time. So again, I have another friend who happens to work overnight at Taps. So I end up staying at Taps for. I don't know, maybe two, three hours easily. So I'm like, I'm not going home right now. Like, too scared. That's crazy. Yep. And this, crazy. at this point, you know, I was living at home, sleeping in the attic. So, again, another factor that, you know, I kind of yeah. kind of brought into it. So, eventually, you know, I do go home. I, I, I got to go home at some point, right? right? But the thought process was, you know, hopefully by the time I get home, this movie isn't in my head anymore. So that was wrong. Um, got home. Damn. I went to lay down and I couldn't fall asleep. Yeah, um, the lights on? By all the lights on. All <laughs> all the lights on. <clears throat> so I'm just, you know, thinking about different stuff, you know. How to say a prayer. Gotta say a prayer. You know. Please don't let me have bad dreams, something like that. I don't know. Um <clears throat> Basically, I was, I, I basically woke up in the morning, and what I realized is I just fell asleep. I was too scared to fall asleep myself. I basically deprived myself of to the point where I'm just like I just knocked out. So insane. Yeah. So the fact um, that you got scared that bad of that. PSA: um, Don't go see any paranormal activity movies. Um, that's just good advice. So, well, I'm um, sweating thinking about it. I see. You know, and I was just kind of hot in here, but that's okay. <laughs> we won't let you watch any more scary movies. Any more scary movies? Gonna do something to me. I'm here for you, friend. I appreciate that. Okay. How do you feel about scary movies, though? Um, when I was younger, they used to scare me a lot. Okay, big, big, tough. I guess so because they're not scary <clears throat> to me more. I guess more so now because there's too many remakes and they're predictable. Mm, that is true. Um, but one that scared me was only a few years ago. I think I was like just graduated high school, so it's a similar story. I think I went on a date though to the movies and I went to go see The Conjuring. Oh, now I've never seen that. So the Conjuring is pretty much the start of like all of the rest of the scare movies that kind of like came out of that, like Annabelle, and there might be another one that came out of it. Like Annabelle had its own like spinoff from it because it was inside of the Conjuring. Um, from what I can remember, though, the movie was based on a true story, so that's what made it scary to me is that it was based on a true story. Like I think there were like 
that was back, I don't know, obviously back in the 19 somethings, but people were like hung in the back. It was like mad paranormal too, though. Like stuff was flying and stuff like that, but it only scared me because it was based on a true story. Like if it wasn't based on the true story, I think I would have been fine because I typically like be like, oh, well, that's predictable. Like they're going to fall, they're going to die kind of thing. But like that one was scary. Like there were like- haunted objects in the house. Mm-hmm. Like they were possessed objects, like spirits that attached themselves to the object. Like the doll Annabelle. What was in the case and everything? <clears throat> Absolutely not. The little girl with them red pigtails? No. Mm-mm. I never, I didn't watch those because I knew that was a true story too. Wouldn't catch me. Okay. Absolutely not. So like, yeah, I was scared. Like, you know, driving home all paranoid and stuff like that. But I did go home and definitely went to sleep. So. Oh, you had no problems. So was you really I mean, scared it took then? me, it took me a little bit to fall asleep because, you know, at that time I was still living at home with my mom. So like, there's people in the house. Like I wouldn't, I don't think that I would, to this day would watch a movie like that and go home because I live alone. Absolutely not. Hell no. Nah, somebody got to come over here or something. <laughs> I'm not sleeping by myself in this house by myself. <clears throat> no. Mm, foreshadowing. Someone no. might have to come over. Just, okay. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, so like, but to piggyback off you being scared of like paranormal activity, oh my God, my sisters and I thought those were hilarious. Like, we thought they were funny. Like, someone's in your house just dragging you, flipping the covers off you in the bed, pulling you out the bed. Somebody really doing that? Like, we thought they were funny. We were kids though. Like, I don't remember when the first paranormal came out, but I know that I was like still in high school. You got like ten years on me, so like <laughs> it's not that many years. <laughs> it's not, but like you know, you got to be extra. But my mom was super scared in the movie. She would not sit down and watch those movies at all. She was scared. Smart woman. Scaredy cat. My mom's a scaredy cat. She's a scaredy cat. Like she's. She won't even watch Nightmare on Elm Street. She does not. No, she will not watch Freddy. Nope. <clears throat> that I could also understand. She won't do it. I've I've seen the Freddy movies, but it's I stay away. It's the it's the whole like come in your dream type. Like, dang man, I can't go to sleep again. <laughs> I, get, I just want to sleep. <laughs> Yo, yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But the, if you think about how they like make scary movies, it's kind of crazy. Because you, did you know that Texas Chainsaw Massacre is actually a true story too? I've heard that. Like that's insane that people were literally out there killing people and skinning them. That doesn't surprise me. No, it doesn't. But like to know that before <clears throat> watching the movies, because there's a bunch of remakes of those too, that that's actually true. And the one girl who actually escaped to tell her story, now she got to keep reliving that. Like, that's kind of bad. I mean, I, I hope she signed off on it. Maybe she's getting, like, some type of royalties. So money, but still. Yeah. I feel like those people usually, like, write a book or something like that. So that's kind of like the origin of scary movies, though. Someone's trauma. Gotta make one off you, then. I don't know. That doesn't sound fun. Why not? You get some royalties, make a scary movie based off you. Or you went to the movies, seen a scary movie, stayed in Times for a few hours. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, you make a little short skit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there's enough trauma there. Because, <clears throat> like, after, Most, I mean, honestly, it probably took. They're you know, all exaggerated to an extent. They add something else. Yeah. I feel like the thing with scary movies is, and like that situation, I basically, it took me probably two, three weeks to like forget about the movie. To where Ooh, I'm like, I was yeah, good to like were, actually like. Yeah, you were you were messed up. Yeah, I told you, man. I was scared. It took me like two or three days. I didn't see another paranormal. So I don't do no paranormals, no possession type pass. I can do slasher films. Right? I mean, I get the the paranormal Michael ones. Myers, the, those are, the those Jasons. Are classic. Yeah, that, that, that's one of those Friday like, yeah, 13. it's like, yeah. you're going to trip and fall now. It don't make no sense. Yeah. But you've never been to... Have you ever been to Sean House? Um, yes, I have. Um, again, one of those situations where... I ain't gonna um, hold you. It's, I it's, did fall at a haunted house. But in my defense... Oh, yes. Yeah, they were right there. So, like, if someone jumps out and scares you and you kind of, like, trip and fall, you kind of gonna stay down because they're in your face. Now, if I'm running... 
and I fall. I'm getting back up. <laughs> Mind you, I was like 13. But okay, I'm getting back up if someone's chasing me. You know, black people don't play that anyways. You hear the first noise, we are, we're we're gone anyway. No, actually, story time. Another story. <clears throat> Hunter House. I haven't been to one in a while. Same. Um, I'm trying to think if I I feel like they definitely set one up when I was at UB. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm trying to think if I went inside. I don't think I did. Okay, so Clifton Hills was like one of the go-to spots for haunted houses. Yes, I heard that. Um, so is that where like you have to sign off on the waiver for that one haunted house out there? I feel like there was a couple like that where you had to like kind of right. sign off, but I know there's definitely at least one or two. I've heard some, yeah, there was some definitely some stories, some spots where you kind of get like split up and stuff like that, and Mm-mm. yeah. So I had only been once. What with the fam. So it was like me, my mom, aunt, um, actually my pastor at the time, his kids. Um, so we all decided to uh, go to a haunted house. So what's actually, you know, I'm thinking about it, I'm kind of surprised. Like, you know, this again, this is me not trick-or-treating, but we're going to a haunted house. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to think of how old I was. I definitely was a teenager. So, all right. <clears throat> so before we even go inside the haunted house, like the first to get into the hunter house to actual like the maze or whatever, like the first thing was it was like somebody with like a paw. It was like a wet paw. And like it's like wet? A, yeah, paw? like a wet paw. Oh. It's supposed to be like some type of animal, but like it kept like <laughs> touching. <laughs> so it took us like 10 minutes just to get in the first part. Like just to go through the first door. <laughs> Everybody kept laughing. <laughs> so um so we go into the hunter house, right? <clears throat> Again, I had never been pitch black. Only thing you can see is like red dots. That's the thing. It's supposed to it makes so, this like which, psychological. Yeah, and like first of all, that's if you like if you don't see the dots, it's like okay, where am I? Like we got lost so many times. I'm just like I, I don't know where we're going. Anyway, so basically, probably closer to the end, um, <clears throat> something happened, and I was like, all right, I'm out. So I started running. <laughs> <laughs> Left the entire group. I'm like, y'all, y'all, I'm out. I end up going, literally running out the end of the hunting house, right? Probably like five, ten minutes later, everyone else started to kind of like filing out. <laughs> <laughs> and like, what happened? I'm like, what you mean what happened? Like, I'm, I don't need to be in there no longer. Right. Like, I'm, no, I'm good. I'm good. I've never been to haunted house since. So I never, honestly, I never had an excuse. I might be able to be convinced. That just made me think about a time in 2020. Again, my family and I, we took a little family vacation. My mom and sisters and my niece. We went to uh, Myrtle Beach. Mm. Again, sorry. We're not rule followers. Um, It's a pandemic. We're supposed to be, you know, not leaving the States, but whatever. So we went to Myrtle Beach. We visited like the Wax Museum, I think, that they have out there and all that stuff. But where I forget, was it inside of like the wax museum? They had like a haunted little haunted house thing. When I tell you, all four of us was like, "Yeah, we can go in there. Ain't gonna be scary." You know what I'm saying? We got in there, running, <laughs> running. We was running. <laughs> it was so bad. My little sister, when she ran, she hit the door like trying to get out of there. Oh. <laughs> like. Mm. Wasn't funny. big tough that day, huh? Nah, it was so funny because we, me and my sister was really like, yeah, come on, y'all, like, let's do it. Like, it ain't even going to be man. scary ain't during nothing, the day. Man. It's not even spooky season Whatever. for real. We running. We all, like, running, hanging on to each other, running. But we made sure we was all together, though. That shit was so funny, though, because, like, she hit the door coming out. That's funny. Like, Boom. Hit the door, coming out of there. She was the baby sister too, so maybe she was, you know, baby sister thing. She hit that door crazy. <laughs> like my mom was like, "See, told y'all." I was like, "Girl, forget you." So your mom went, but she ain't going. Nah, she had my niece and my um her little cousin that was with us. They stayed out. Mm. No, absolutely not. My mom would have had a heart attack in there. Yeah, no, but like. 
it's so funny because like I said, it's a psychological thing. It's dark. You can't see. So you're just trying to hear. And like, so your senses is off a little bit and you know, you just be real anxious. So we are running, trying to get out. Oh my gosh. Now, if one of us had failed, somebody was getting left. I promise you we was not turning back. That's yes, man. Sometimes it's, it's every man for themselves. It is in haunted houses. You don't go back for people. You might wait over there, like get up, get up. But like you're not going back to get them. And nah. if you is, you dragging them. So like, you ever see videos of people like in haunted houses and like somebody fall and they start dragging them, or like videos of people that like scaring people and they like they're just be standing out there in the middle of like the street and they start running towards them and somebody fall and somebody like pick them up and they just start running with them because yeah. Nah, who knows? Yeah, we might have been dragging her out, but she was coming. <laughs> I don't know, man. If you fall, like, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm probably leaving you. Honestly, I'm down to drum. I mean, it's the survival of the fittest, like you said, man. Yeah, because like, so we all took the risk here. So we did. That's it's hilarious Thank to you for watch. Being, though you know, the sacrifice, right? You know, slowed him down a little bit so he could later tell the story. You know, thank you. <laughs> So I'm like, yeah, some movies I'm just like, do you really need to go? No, like, go the opposite way. Seriously. Let's go check out this noise. That's another Let's thing. play with the Ouija board. Like, like you saying yourself, I'm not playing with no spirits. I'm not. Oh, I'm man. not doing it. Which is kind of funny when I was talking about how um for paranormal activity, I, evidently <laughs> that was a spirit that was attacking those people in that home. But like, to purposely be trying to pull out a Ouija board to co- no, I'm leaving this house immediately. Don't don't contact me. I'm blocking all of you. I, I'm not playing with y'all. Mm-mm. So quick question, though. Do you consider... Have you ever seen any of the Final Destinations? Yeah. You consider those scary movies? I feel like it's a genre, but they're not really, like, scary. But it is, like, horror, thriller. Gory, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just thought I'd ask. It popped up in my head. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. I like those. I've seen all of those. So. Those don't scare you? No. Why would that, why would that scare me? Death doesn't scare you in that sense. No. Oh. Listen, it's the things that I can't see. Again, in possession. Though, some things, some things. Okay. <clears throat> let's, let's, let's bring it back. Bring it back. Something I was mentioned, right? <clears throat> you, you. You 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 going to see a Halloween movie, right? <laughs> and you know, again, it's it's something that could be scary. Um, sometimes, with that being the fact, you you might want to go with somebody. Um, and you know, sometimes they could be used as an excuse as well. Um, it's like you know, hey, you want to go watch this movie, but you know, um, unfortunately, um, in order for me to watch this movie, I'm gonna need you to uh, uh, come lay next to me, so uh, I'm I will be okay. Um, because you know these these things frighten me. So, uh, with that being said, <clears throat> can Halloween movies be used as a move? Yes, I think so. I think it could be made as a move. Okay. Be have you have move. you done it before? I have not actually. Okay, just because they don't frighten you? No, it's just something <laughs> I just didn't think of. Like you know, I like. Halloween, but I like to be outside for Halloween. You know, mm. seeing all like I said, the decorative houses, the Halloween parties, the costumes, stuff like that. I never thought of like, oh, let's you know, spooky scene. Let's watch a bunch of scary movies. That's never been something I thought of, but that's a good, it's a good uh, idea. Would you? You think it could um, be made as a movie? I mean, somebody would. If someone's like, "Hey, let's go watch them," like that's the only reason I'm. Sure, but we got you. Got to come back with me to my apartment <laughs> and sleep in the bed with me. I mean, we got to at a minimum cuddle because um, oh. I can't be by myself right now. Um, mm. um, and I need someone with me to you know be strong for me because um, yeah. So that's, are you gonna try it out? I might. Uh, yeah. I'll throw it out there. I've never done it before because again, I don't really be um, I don't really be dove until like. Well, I guess we kind of talk about it a little later, but I don't really do too much of like the scary, scary movies. I feel like if you're gonna watch a scary movie at home, then you know, obviously, got to be pitch black. You know, you cut it up on a couch or something like that. Well, I'm trying to think if that could actually like 
are you too scared for it to actually lead anywhere is my thing. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I'd be like, you that scared? We can't even... Uh, huh? Oh, I'd be like this in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> or on the couch, where are we at? Like... <clears throat> The movie off. We didn't put on something to ease your mind. You still frightened. I can't close my eyes. Every time I close my eyes, I, I see I see your face. I, <laughs> I might have to turn over and lay on the op- face the opposite way after that. Mm. I don't know. <clears throat> nah, I feel like if if you hardy enough, it's irrelevant. Block that straight Excuse out. Me? <clears throat> oh, you, you want me to repeat it? If you horny enough. It's irrelevant, right? Tunnel vision. I mean, if initially that was what you were having the person come over there for mm. was to make them scared enough to. Some people actually being no. Scared. Some people actually like to watch yeah scary movies, or they don't mind them. You know, yeah. But some people really enjoy it. The only reason that I would do that is for it to lead somewhere. Well, I hope you ain't gonna be too scared to get you none. Nah, I'll be good. I hope so. I'll be good. I'm, I'm just gonna be one of those. I like, don't know. Your, your it's gonna story. be like Netflix. Are you still there? Type like halfway through. Oh, are you? Are you? Are you? Are you okay? Oh, are your muscles a little tense? You want a little massage? Oh, <laughs> you know, see where it goes from there. But um, okay, okay. All right, next topic. Um, Halloween candy again. I'm, I've I've Never been trick or treating. So sad, man. Um, but I love candy. We know. Um, so I want to discuss the best Halloween trick or treat candy. Snickers. Hands down, Snickers. Okay. Um, I mean that's a good choice. It is. It's the only choice. Um, how do you disagree? Okay. What is um, it? I feel like there's a bunch of different options. Uh, and what's that? Um, Twix. Twix is a big one. You get two. You if get two buyers. I'm going trick or treating, and they don't put a snick. If I don't got at least ten mini bite sized Snickers in my bag, then people pick the wrong candy. They pick the wrong candy to give out. I need at a ratio two to one, two being Snickers and one being everything else. Okay, I mean. There's like a couple of different candies that I can easily like. Snickers is definitely one. I got That's Twix though. Top tier Halloween trick or treating <laughs> candy. Twix is my number one. I'm gonna put Snickers like number two. Yeah. So as long as I got me some Twix. Twix is cool. Like yeah, give me some Twix. But Snickers <laughs> me down, man. No, I need to make the. You know how they got the little candies. You got the S N I C K E R S. I need all. I need to line it up. Line me up. If you okay. if you if you bougie, you know, if you, you real fancy with it and you giving out the share size or the king size Snickers, just put it in my bag too. <laughs> Whatever you want to give me, but make sure it's Snickers in my bag. So right, they, they 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 got a bucket, right? Are you specifically picking out like the candy that you want, or are you just grabbing Absolutely. a handful? You no. just like in there, or you like? I mean, moving it, it depends around. because most people when they have buckets. They always have, it's either a bucket full of Snickers or it's a bucket full of some bull. Like it's a variety of whatever. Mm. You might sift through it because like, I will say my second top candy for trick or treating would be Jolly Ranchers. Wow. Yeah, Jolly Ranchers. There's always something about Jolly Ranchers for Halloween for me. Um, But if it's candy like that with a variety, but they all have like the hard candies or something like that, Jolly Ranchers. But if it's a mixture and they got some chocolate in there, Picking out Snickers every time. And if there's no Snickers, then Twix is the next runner up. But Snickers. I mean, I can go Twix, Snickers, Kit Kat, Reese's. Those are all cool. Cookies and cream. Those are seldom. They don't really put those in there like that. Musketeers. I've been eating that in a while. Uh-uh. We do that. That's like. It would go with Snickers, Twix, Kit Kat, Reese's, and then the Three Musketeers or whatever other one. M&M's. Peanuts specifically. They don't really give out. I've never really got peanut M&M's. They always just do chocolate. So 
Like, M and M's are. No. What else people be doing? <laughs> Beats me. I might have been pissed off if I had gone trick or treating as a kid. You get a variety of everything, though. You Ma'am, get, sir, what is this? What? Okay, so if, if we doing like we should have did like chocolate versus candy, but I mean, I'm definitely if you got the wise, option, I'm going definitely chocolate. I'm candy. I'm not really too big into like candy. It, I would have to always have it as a mixture, but like if what if I preferred like if they had a bowl of candy, it has to have the Jolly Ranchers and the the suckers in it. I forget what those suckers are called. You know what I'm talking about with the gum inside. Oh, it's got to yeah. be one of those. Okay, um, I haven't had that in a minute. I know. So, like, that's a, a staple for a trick or treating Halloween bag. Like, you gotta have me at least one sucker. Okay, one sucker, a Jolly Rancher. You know, make sure of like chocolate Twix, Reese's, because Reese's is big too. Reese's is a big Halloween candy that they give out. Okay, Reese's. so for like candy wise, you big on Jolly Ranchers and like suckers. Yes, so you like sucking on things. <laughs> I didn't know we were spicy podcasts. <sighs> um, but I'm gonna plead the fifth. Okay. I was just I just just kind of related, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you didn't say like Twizzlers or like Skittles. Twizzlers are disgusting. That you would just like chew. Skittles. Skittles are a big one too, but like that's not what I look for in my bag. It's predominantly Snickers, but I'm definitely gonna take a pack of little mini Skittles. Fuck with it, I fuck with it. Starburst. Don't give me no yellow or no orange, pink and red me only. But you know you can't be beggars, can't be choosers. Nope. It's usually the mini ones, so you don't know what you get. Yep, yep. I usually stay away from those though. Like if I'm buying candy, Laffy Taffy's going there. Yeah, that banana Laffy Taffy. Or the pink one. What's the pink flavor? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you just say banana? That's usually what they put in there. You eat it? Yeah. What's wrong with a banana Laffy Taffy? That Laffy Taffy. You got a problem with banana Laffy Taffy? Banana flavor anything is the worst flavor ever in life. Nah, I like me a banana. An actual banana? Yeah. Banana and flavor? Banana Laffy banana? Taffy. Nah. That's it. What other so flavored bananas one. are there? No, no, no. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Nothing banana flavored is good. Like at all. Like nothing. No candy. Banana Laffy Taffy, that's it. I don't have any other banana flavor things. I don't even have banana nut muffins. Just a banana Laffy Taffy in my Halloween trick-or-treating bag. I was wondering who eat those things. Like, Why do they make this? It's you. Listen, man. I don't like candy corn. You like candy corn? Hell no. Okay, then. Look. We back on the same page. I mean, it wasn't surprising if you did, though. But man, I feel tired. Nah, candy corn is atrocious. That's nah, atrocious. Nah, that nah, and black nah, licorice. Nah. Like, those are two things that they should have never been made. I seen a picture of this girl on Twitter have a candy corn martini. Disgusting. I don't even want to know what it tastes like. I don't know. It had candy corn inside of it? No. No. Yeah, Absolutely on, not. You um, use that to chuck at people. Yeah, on the street. You ride my boom. <laughs> Throw it at people. Mm. Get home. Okay. So the consensus is Twix, best trick or treat candy. Snickers. We'll let y'all decide. I'm going to put a poll up. Yeah, I know y'all Twix rocking with Snickers. Snickers. I'm, I'm going to put a poll up. Which, which one is the better <laughs> Halloween candy? Um, Snickers. Twix. And we talking, think full size. Think full size. Think full size. Okay. King size. Snickers king size. Yeah. And <laughs> Snickers with almonds. What Twix doing? They just Twix. Oh, like, got come like, on. They got like a cookies and cream. Snickers got variety. Got like I ain't a, never had no cookies butter. and cream Twix. They got, it's actually pretty good. They got, they like, they I got think they variety. should just stick to what like they know and be basic. One. They should just stick to what they know and be basic. Thank you. Whatever. They ain't saying they ain't good though, y'all. But Snickers, it's top tier. That's why they got the commercial. Talk about someone you're hungry, eat a Snickers. That sounds like a drug to me. How? Because you're not yourself without it. 
because you're hangry. You exactly. need fuel. You need this lovely Snickers. Sound like a drug. You're addicted to it. You, you, not you're not addicted. yourself unless you have it. No, it's just that it's that satisfying that it'll get your hunger back. You know, you'll be good until you get something else. Mm. Okay. Whatever you say. All right. Last topic. Our favorite topic. Is it? It is. What's the topic? Top five. Top five lists. And of course, again, Halloween themed. Uh, we're going to get into this one. All Top right. five Halloween movies. <clears throat> now, again, I'm not a big fan of some Halloween movies, so I had to be very specific with these. Um, I have some honorable mentions that I will discuss, um, but I do have a top five. Uh, you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? You go first. All right. <clears throat> Coming in at number five, and I did look all of these up just to make sure they are technically horror movies. <laughs> um, but that, but that, why did it have to be horror? This Halloween thing, I thought. I guess. Okay. I feel like this is still, yeah, Halloween horror. In the, in the area. Okay. So, number five, Alien. Specifically, Alien Covenant, which came out, I believe, in <laughs> 2017. So, I've seen... Is that the movies with the Alien versus Predator people? Yeah. Okay. But apparently, they're not like the same universe or something like that. Okay. But yes, I've seen all the Alien movies. That's the ones mm-hmm. with them things in the head that look like locks. No. Right? That's Predator. The alien is that long thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Although they both look huh. like aliens to me. Why did, did I think? We, I'm trying to think of Predator would be considered like Halloween horror. Why wouldn't it? It's a scary movie, right? I feel like I feel like it's more action thriller. But thriller falls in horror in a sense. Hmm. I don't know if anybody would be scared. I would be scared if I was in a movie with aliens and predators. Okay. So, um, I mean, that's actually one of my predator. I love the franchise. Like, I've seen all of those, too. But I don't, I I don't wouldn't know why consider I that. keep getting them confused. The predator is the one with the lock things. And the alien is the long face thing. Yep. Okay. Yep. I've been getting them confused since I was a kid. I swear. I thought they were opposite. <laughs> I don't know why. You need to get on top of that. <laughs> okay. So, that's number five. Number four. Um, this is a classic. Okay. Scream. Yeah. You remember yeah, Scream? Yeah. That's, I feel like What's it's a big... your favorite scary movie? <laughs> <laughs> That's an honorable mention, the spinoff, the comedy parody. Scary movie. Mm. <laughs> Marlon Wayans. I love those. Scary movie okay. one and two, man. <clears throat> yeah. Those oof. Grab my hand. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> no, my other one. <laughs> The other one isn't strong enough. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <clears throat> yes, I feel like that's a big like go to Halloween costume. Scream, um, yeah, that's, no, definitely. It's, it's pretty iconic. The mask. Mm-hmm. So that and Jason and Michael. Yep. All right. Number three, and again, these aren't really like your normal like paranormal exorcist. Like uh, again, we don't do none of those. These I, are movies I that I, I basically can. Actually, rewatch. I can yeah. go back to. So, coming in at number three is Saw. You mentioned it before. I like Saws. I've seen those are honorary mentions for me. Every Saw movie. I seen didn't see the last one. Oh, you need to get on top of it. So it's probably because I'll be watching stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna out myself in case the fans <laughs> are watching. <laughs> Yeah, um, just say I don't go to the movie theater to watch movies. So, with that being said, seeing all the Saw movies, Dang, um, those are good. That's a good. That's a good. What are they called? Is that called a series? What is it called? Yeah, it's a series. good series. Like I haven't seen the last one, but Franchise, like something like that. That from the first one all the way up, man, keeps you guessing on your toes. You will never guess who actual Jigsaw was after he died, ever. Nah. Like it's that good. I was like, yeah, I did y'all, y'all did y'all big. That's one, one of those just like it's kind of like a, a mystery type thing oh where you're trying gosh. to guess like who the killer is. I so, like those movies. What was it? Saw five when the cop was this close, and then he pushed the dude into the box who was an ex cop, I think, and got smashed in the wall. I was so mad. I was like, you was this close, stupid, stupid. 
But they knew he was going to do that. I was so mad. Like, that's just like a significant memory. Besides the other dude who was chained in the first movie. Yeah. And then when he finally broke his ankle and I thought he was dead. And then he popped up and I think in the same movie and they had him hanging on ice. I was like, oh my God. It's good. That's, a good, that's some good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, um, I'm dying in all of those. Uh, no, nah, yeah, because the one, oh my gosh. I'm good. Okay, so it's, obviously it's I watched now. them because I'm remembering things. The one girl who had her hair tied up and she couldn't find the key and it just pulled her hair back. And I was like, oof. Yeah. And she was dead. It's, mm, mm, mm. Some of those, oof, tough. It's very, very gory. So, very actually, gory. they had um like, um I went to like a nickel, the Nickel City Comic Con, which is in Buffalo. Um, They had it here. So they had Fun like fact, a little that's what they saw, call Buffalo. little saw contraption. I'll put the video in here. So, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, put fun fact too, because they used to call Buffalo Nickel City. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll Nickel City, we call it Twin City. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, coming in at number two, Resident Evil. Ooh. Again, another series. I've seen literally every movie in it. I don't even remember the first one. That joint was crazy. That laser beam. Oh, yeah. It was crazy when they turned that joint and it was like all of them and they sliced that again like triangles. I was like, dang. Mm-hmm. Iconic saying, you're all going to die down here. And they did. They dev did. I mean, most of them. So, um, yeah, I've seen literally everyone. I yeah. feel like they, yeah, they actually, weren't as good later on, but. Yeah, because I remember the, one of them again with the girl. Uh, they just started getting because. super crazy. I'm like, ah, come lost, on, man. They she lost basically the got superpowers now. He got, like, y'all doing too much. They lost the dialogue, yeah. So, okay. And my number one, scary movie classic. I grew up watching this. Actually, I was petrified. I guess that account, you got a good <laughs> list. I'm not even going to, I'm going to argue with you on that. You, well, This is up. the first time in the history of our podcast that I actually agree with his top five. Okay. Well, you ain't here number one yet. Man. Number one. <clears throat> I hope. I thought that was number one. Child's play. You I'm gonna give it to you. Chucky. Yeah. Chucky. Um, we had the dial when I was little. My mom said it wasn't that dial, but it was that dial. <laughs> those movies again weren't scary to me. Thought they were funny. Nah, again, were funny. that's one of those because again But I actually agree with so his top five list. That's crazy. I had did I have the black dial or the white dial? It was a black dial. Yep. So what? again, Again, right? They was so I think the movie came out either before or after these dials were made. I don't remember. But it was literally dials that looked literally very similar to the Chuck Lee the movie. So I think we had the white dial. My cousin had the black dial. I can't believe there was and a like, black dial. Yep. I am shocked that there was a black yeah. dial. So probably obviously wasn't like related to the movie, but it was still it looked literally had the same clothes, the overalls. Little like striped shirt, like I would have to look it up. Wow. So, but yeah, I remember my older cousin scaring me. Like it was pitch black. We were at the house. Hi, my name's Chucky. Wanna play? Um, he started chasing <laughs> us with the doll. So again, it's like I said, that's one of those I've seen yeah. like as a kid, where it's like I probably shouldn't have been watching this. You know. I and again, we had the now. doll. So eventually, that's I put the doll in like a toy chest. I put it somewhere. I'm like, yo, this can't be out nowhere. That's insane. Yeah. That's insane. So, now I'm like, this is black now. This one of the oh. movies is like it's super funny, stupid, stupid. Well, man, get up on my face, man. Like You're literally being scared of a doll. Like are you yeah, for real? Yeah, but, but back then. I'd have had that motherfucker like. <laughs> <laughs> like so but I feel like But yeah, no, if you up. actually if you think about it, you wouldn't have did that to no doll because, like, you would have been freaked out. That's a doll that's actually walking and talking. I probably would have been a little freaked out for the nah. first 10 minutes. Nah. You wouldn't have been scared of no walking doll. No. Nah. So, too okay. small. Well, watch Annabelle then. Nah, it's possession. I don't do that. Oh, now. that's possession too. He is, his soul was inside the, the doll. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I'm passing on Annabelle though. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Thing. Yeah, I kill Annabelle too, man. Stop fronting. Yeah, I ain't. Uh, I'm not watching it though. But mm. I'm just saying. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. What you got for me? All right. I got a little variety on my list as well. Um, coming in at number five is actually Insidious. <laughs> the okay. first one, actually. I've never seen any of those, but I stayed away for a reason. So yeah, that's that's number five. Number four is going back to childhood. 
Casper. Friendly goes. Oh okay. Okay. That's a good one. Number three. This is a super classic from a childhood. If you've never seen this movie as a kid, I don't know what's wrong with you. Hocus Pocus. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I've yeah. seen that maybe once. Then you know. Okay. <laughs> and um, now my number two is Halloween from 2006 with Busta Rhymes. Okay. Specifically that one because like... I couldn't find the year of the other one when they went back to like when he was a child and basically showed how he became. I mean, they made him. so many of those. Yeah, so I couldn't remember year what year that one came out. And then my number one is Freddy versus Jason. Ooh. That was yeah. actually a good one. Yeah, I've seen that one. Actually, yeah. they made two of them. Did they? Yeah. I only seen one with Kelly Rowland in it. What's the other one? Oh, it's like it was like Freddy versus Jason one, Freddy versus Jason two, or something like that. I just remember it being two different movies. Oh, I only seen the one with Kelly Rowland in it, so maybe that was the first one. But yeah, yep. Okay, I like the number one. The rest of them is Halloween is a good one, just like a classic. There's so many movies though, so no. Actually, I like Casper. Casper's a good one. I can go back to Casper. They made a couple of Caspers. Yeah. So yeah, Halloween stuff. We've all. Picked, I feel like we have at least one movie on our list that has like a series of remakes or just bunch of movies so yeah yeah that's some good ones on there there's so many like and so yeah there's a list okay i want to go through some honorable mentions okay um halloween horror themed zombie land have you seen that is that when they were at the amusement park and all that stuff with the girl from eza yep yes i've seen that yep. yep that's i like that i like that good movie um blade you know, I've seen Blade, but I was so young when I seen Blade. So. Okay, maybe you need to go back to it. Yeah. So, great movies. I've seen all of those. Um, Again, scary movie. Comedy parody. So, is The Ring considered a Halloween movie? The Ring? Yeah. Well, that's an honorable mention on, for me. Is that the one that comes out the... Little girl that come out the well. <laughs> that's scary as... Traumatizing. Coming out the TV. I seen that as a kid. Traumatizing. That's scary. Yeah. Upside down, like what's that? What type of hair in her face? Yeah. Like, like this. Oh. Oof. I don't remember mentioning again the grudge. I was literally thinking that too. <laughs> literally, when you said the ring, and I was thinking the grudge also. Both that of those. Was, nope. Like, Never again. I think I've only seen those like once or twice because they had two of them. <clears throat> so I think I seen both of them. Yep. Scared as hell though. Yep. Um, Beetlejuice. Never seen Beetlejuice. You need to go see Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So, Candyman. Seen I'm Candyman? Never, never seen it. You gotta watch Candyman. Don't say it in the mirror three times. He might kill you. They only made All one, right? right? If I'm on this podcast by myself, then next time you know, I come back, I'm back. Just know. <laughs> He want to be playing games. We'll see. I'm probably not going to watch it. Just, you know. See? Well, then if you're not going to watch Candyman, I'm not watching Beetlejuice. Yeah, but Beetlejuice is not scary, though. Okay. So but you still got to watch Candyman. It's like a staple. How old is it, though? It's old as dirt. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I looked up, like, scary movies just to kind of get a reference. There's so many. I'm like, okay, is there anything I'm missing? So, Candy yeah, I've seen, seen that on there. Candy Man. It looked the old. So, so it's a classic. We'll see. Gotta Maybe. Candy Man. All right. Underworld. Have you seen that? I was I was going to ask you, was that considered a scary movie? I love Underworld. Mm, I feel like it is kind of like horror thriller. I'm pretty sure I looked it up. It's like horror thriller. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I don't consider it scary, but... You I seen watched the movie Trick or Treat? Nope. What is that about? Trick or Treat? Yeah, it's a scary movie. Uh, you've never seen You've never seen Trick or Treat. Oh, bad that. I can't remember if it was necessarily scary though, but it's a bunch of kids. That's what it looked like. Little boy is dressed like why every time I click on it, it won't show the actual picture. It's got an A3 on my tomatoes, so but I can't remember the concept. But mm. oh, and then last one that I watched recently, 
I know what you did last summer. I've never seen it. No? I just remember from Scary Movie because it was in there. But no. I feel like we're missing one. We did. You said Scream on your list, but there's another one with a mask. I feel like we're missing. Um, I don't know. It's Freddy, Jason. I think that's probably what it was. No one mentioned Jason that much. Friday the 13th. And you got, yeah, Michael Myers. Yeah, Freddy, Jason, Scream. Um, I feel like there's another I don't think of any of the, like person. slasher films. Yeah. Slasher. I can't think of any. I can't either besides... Let's see. No, because these are all ones that we mentioned. Halloween. You ever seen The Nun? The Nun? No. Is that supposed to be scary? Yes. Interesting. Is it like something that would do with like exorcism? I think so. Is this a recent movie? No. Oh, okay. The Nun Ben came out. I thought it was a movie that Sydney Sweeney's in that she was playing The Nun. <laughs> I know I've seen one scary movie that had to do with like people oh, being they just stuck came in an out elevator. With the nun too. I think I've seen the nun too. People stuck in the elevator. Oh, I actual honorable mention that it should have been on my list: Thirteen Ghosts. Don't think I've seen that. Ooh, that was scary. Yeah. Don't okay. watch that one. Don't no, watch that one. I'm not. That one was scary as a kid. Oh my god, that was scary. Oh no, that that I guess now I understand your trauma because that was scary. Absolutely not. And they about to turn it into a series on Netflix where they're gonna go back to the stories, uh, the backstories of all the ghosts. Oh, what was it? What was the other scary movie called? Shipwreck or Ghost Ship? That's what it's called, Ghost Ship. That one wasn't scary, but like was it about ghosts. They all died on that ship, and it was shipwrecked, and like somebody found it. Like all the ghosts were still on there. I better do that. Is it like scary, scary, or just Mm-mm. like ghosts? It's not scary, scary. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's like certain scary movies I can do. So anything like vampire related, I can do. No problem. Yeah, vampires aren't scary. Yeah. So. Do you believe that they're real? Vampires? Mm-hmm. No. I don't think so. If you're watching this as a vampire, come find me. <laughs> you want to be a vampire? I just want to know if they're real or not. Oh. Oh, what was that look? We have to know if they're real or not. Oh, okay. Look at you almost like lick your lips or something. Like No. All right. They were the one with a dead body. That's amazing. They, they've turned, what is that, Um, Twilight? It's almost like I a, like a Twilight. sexual type thing nowadays. Especially, yeah, Dracula. Like, they seduce the women and then turn them. Is that what he do? Yeah. I've it's never like, seen Dracula. <laughs> I want to drink your blood. Oh <laughs> All right. We got to end the podcast now. <laughs> All right, peeps. Appreciate you guys tuning in again to your favorite food podcast, Halloween themed episode today. All right. I need to know, right? Most important thing, your top three, top three scary movies. That's hard, too. Especially for people that actually like scary movies. It's going to be hard. Put it back to top five. Top five. I'm going to clip this because I want actual answers. So top five scary movies. I need that. Um, anything else? Best trick-or-treating candy. Actually, I'm going to make a poll. You never got it. I'll make a poll. Because obviously Twix is the answer. So. And, hmm. It's got something to do with Halloween costumes. Like, you know. I forgot I was going to word it, but mm-hmm. make sure you watch, subscribe, mm-hmm. you know, like, share, most importantly. Yes. We are a growing platform. Working on it. Anything else? No. That's it. Have a good time. Happy Halloween. Yes. Get lit. That's it. We out. Thank <laughs> you.